Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I would like to talk about the Vibe Photo 501 film camera. The Vibe 501F is another reusable plastic film camera that takes 35mm film. It's very similar to, if not the same, as the Double Film Show camera, the Agfa Photo film camera, the Kodak Ultra F9 camera, and the Ilford Sprite 2 camera. Similar to its siblings, the Vibe 501F has a focus-free plastic lens with a standard 32mm focal length, a fixed aperture of f8, and a shutter speed of 1 1 20th of a second. If you're not entirely sure what these mean, don't worry, I'll explain them later when I show some sample images. So I get asked a lot about which one of these cameras is the best, but to be honest, they're all pretty much the same cameras. So I would say go for the one that is easiest to acquire where you live, uh, maybe if you're in a budget then go for the cheaper one, or just get the one that is the most aesthetically pleasing to you. So I actually got this one because it's supposed to have this champagne silver finish and I thought it will be similar to my Contax TVS which is made of titanium, um, but it's not. Like This one kind of has this green undertone to it which made it look a little bit pukey in my opinion. Anyways, back in October 2021, I went out on a photo walk to test this camera and I would say that it's pretty good for what it is. It's very easy to use and will give you the same experience as if you're using disposable film cameras, only it's reusable. Stick around if you want to see me load it with film, but for now, here are some clips from a photo walk I did and some sample photos. For this photo walk, I went back to the Dale Hodges Park in Calgary, which is the same place where I went to test the Ashika MF1, only this time, it was during fall. Unlike in other places in Canada, the Southern Alberta Fall is unique in the sense that you mostly see this golden yellow color. While some people might say that this is inferior to the diverse reds and oranges that you'd get in other places, I'd say that this is also really good. I like golden yellow. The thing though is that we usually only get a small window of opportunity to see the trees go golden in September before the leaves all fall. They don't last that long, so I was pretty lucky that I got to see some golden trees even if it was already October. If you're interested, the film that I used for this photo walk is a roll of Lomography Color Negative 400. As you can see from these photos, you can get good enough image quality from this camera. The center of the image is decently sharp, but the edges of the image may look very smeared. But that's a characteristic that you will get with all of these reusable cameras with plastic lenses. Just make sure that you get good quality scans of your photos and you'll get usable images. few things to keep in mind while using this camera. First, it has a focal length of 32mm which isn't too wide or too narrow. Think of it as not being too zoomed in nor zoomed out. That said, the viewfinder doesn't show the full framing of what you're taking a photo of. It shows around 70% so you will end up with some extra stuff in your frame. For example, at the time, I thought I was taking this photo but it ended up being more like this. Not that serious as you can crop things in post, but do keep that in mind. Another thing is that it has a fixed aperture of f8, which means it has a wide depth of field, so don't expect to get blurry backgrounds or bokeh even if you get close to your subject. This also means that this lens doesn't allow a lot of light into the camera, so I would suggest using film stocks that have an ISO 400 and above. Um, but you can use ISO 200 films outdoors in sunny conditions. Lastly, it has a fixed shutter speed of 1 1 20th of a second, so any fast movements will have some motion blur in it. Can you take a selfie with it? Kind of. 
Like its sibling cameras, it focuses from 1 meter and beyond, so unless you have an arm span of 1 meter or more, you will be a bit blurry in your selfies using this camera. I get asked a lot if I use the flash outdoors, and I would say not really, unless my subject is in low light, is in shadow, or is backlit. Pro tip, try to take photos with the light source behind you or to the side, so your subject will be well lit with no sun flares. But if you do need to take backlit photos, use the flash to fill in the shadows. Loading this camera with film is pretty simple. Pull the film rewind crank out, then open the back door by pushing down on this door lock. Next, put your choice of 35mm film into the film chamber, then attach the film leader into the film take-up spool by hooking the sprocket holes into the teeth on the spool. Use the film advance wheel to put some tension into the film, then close the film door. To take a photo, use the film advance wheel until it stops, frame your shot, then press the shutter button. You'll have to do this once or twice until the film counter shows one before you can take proper photos. To use the flash, Place one AAA battery into the battery compartment at the bottom of the camera. Toggle the flash button on and wait for about 15 seconds or so when the flash indicator light starts to glow red. The flash should fire in your next shot. To unload the film once you're done taking photos, simply press on the film rewind button at the bottom of the camera and rotate the film rewind crank clockwise. Once you don't hear the gears or feel any tension from the film anymore, you can open the film door to take your film out for development. So who is this camera for? I think that this camera is for people who want to have the experience of shooting with disposable film cameras, but want to have the options of easily reusing them. Relatively speaking, it's pretty good for what it is, a plastic toy camera. So as long as you don't judge it with the expectations that you'd give, say, a Leica or a Contax camera with a Carl Zeiss glass lens, then you might just enjoy using it. I know I do. Heck, I have a collection of these now. And if you want to see the videos that I made showcasing them, then click here. Anyways, I'm Bon. Thank you again for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you liked it. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. Cheers.